as Dorothy mentioned, I'm a, I'm a nuclear physicist, which uh, makes me the odd man out up here, I guess, as I'm uh, actually interested in things that are very, very small as opposed to things that are very, very big, like ga galaxies and supermassive black holes. Uh, but um, it turns out that uh, the field of astronomy and cosmology provides a lot of motivation for the types of research that I do as a nuclear physicist. Um, I use accelerators in the same way that these gentlemen use telescopes uh, to observe nuclei, not nuclei of galaxies in this case, but nuclei of, uh, of atoms. Um, and I'm particularly interested in, in the structure of individual particles that make up the nucleus of an atom, the protons and the neutrons. The protons and neutrons are composed of even smaller particles called quarks. Um, and so that's sort of where my field of interest lies. Um, and particularly, I'm interested in uh, what we call physics beyond the standard model. And the standard model is the name that we've given to this theory that we use to explain how all these particles fit together to form all the matter we observe around us. Uh, and it turns out that there are many astronomical phenomena that motivate our, uh, sorry, that motivate this study. Um, so for instance, back in the 80s, there was this uh, puzzling discovery that um, our sun was not putting out as many neutrinos as, uh, as we thought it should. You know, the nuclear physics, physicists and astronomers had a pretty good model of the sun. We could measure neutrinos, and it didn't seem like there were enough coming from the sun uh, as we would predict, and this was called the solar neutrino problem. Well, it actually turns out that what's going on there is we've since discovered that these neutrinos actually change from one kind to another, and the reason they do that is because they have mass. Well, the standard model as we now understand it can't explain neutrinos that have mass. They're assumed to be particles that are weightless, that have no mass. So this astronomical phenomena about our sun was really the first indication that there was this uh, sort of mystery about, uh, about our understanding of the universe. So that's really where my research interest lies, is further probing this physics beyond the standard model as we refer to it.